Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Panzer Strategy. It's the uh, first mission still and uh, still part of the tutorial I suppose in a way. But let's continue where we left off. We did already move a couple of units during this first turn but uh, yeah let's uh, continue here in the southern half. During the first episode we went over some of the basics of the game and we'll continue to do so in this mission uh, or the second episode as well. Let's start off with the recon and we already saw that we can move it as often as we want so just cross the bridge here and Troops immediately water barriers are very vulnerable you can either make sure there is no enemy nearby before they do or provide protection for them during crossing while in their water obstacle all troops except infantry lose their fighting ability so while we tried to cross the river we already detected two of these enemy units as the game said only infantry can still attack while it's crossing the river no other units can do that and even on bridges my units are very very vulnerable let's get a bit closer to get more information here i can always move back still and i'm confident i can destroy these forces yeah so that's not looking too hot We're using the bomber Down to three, eh? Well, I guess these odds seem to be okay. But let's just use the fighter just in case. Because I don't really like those odds. The Panzerwaffe is the basis of the Wehrmacht. Tanks are ideal for an offensive in an open terrain. A tank forces have an advantage of tenacity and speed. Use them to quickly capture enemy positions reach through the enemy defenses, pursue and annihilate him. Assaults in cities into positions of entrenched infantry forces will lead to high losses in tank units. Yeah, I already said this indeed. Uh, tanks, ideal for open terrain. Infantry, better for close terrain. Uh, units such as anti-tank guns are ideal in forest attacks, whereas tanks really shine in uh, on roads and on uh, clear terrain. Either way, let's use the recon to finish off this guy. Probably surrenders. Yeah, and giving me detailed intelligence over units in the immediate vicinity, allowing us to spot these two guys. Now, making an enemy unit surrender doesn't necessarily use up ammo uh, for your unit. As in this case, it, the recon didn't use any of its ammo in order to make the enemy unit surrender. Uh, so we can still attack with it if we wanted to. And I will, but I just need to get my bomber Bombers in place. Are flying artillery and clear the way for our tanks. They can provide emergency support for the ground forces wherever needed. Do not leave your bombers without protection. Remember, they are prime target for enemy fighter planes. But if I protect them with my own fighters, at least they won't uh, suffer badly. Either way, now I can. I've cleared the way for the recon. It can move up and attack this here infantry. Which is now destroyed. And that will allow me to keep moving once again. I'll be using the bomber on the recon as well. And I think I can destroy this unit at that point. Oh. With the fighter. Probably if it's down to one strength. Yep, I did. All right, let's cover the the bomber here and get our units on their merry way. So I get to move a bit further. Let's actually do so. Uh, we already were familiar that the enemy had two units out there, so I might just as well keep going. And what I'll do here is I'll try to protect the units that are going to cross. As an officer, you must lead your troops from the forefront. Despite its low firepower, your headquarters is an extremely valuable unit on the battlefield. It is an effective command and control of troops that predeterminates the outcome of the entire battle. As you pick up new administrative skills, you will be able to provide significant benefits to your unit situated in the headquarters action zone. If the headquarters is lost, the whole operation will be considered as a failure. Yeah, so I already said before that uh, units within two hexes of your HQ unit uh, do get a bonus in, atta in attack and defense. 
Um, and also an initiative. That's nice. Even the uh, unit itself gets it. Let's move it in range to make sure that these guys do benefit from it. And if we take a look at the tank, indeed they now do get the extra bonus. Whereas the recon doesn't get it because he's not in range. It's actually three hexes away here. Note that also uh, units such as bombers and even fighters get this bonus. So you would do well to move that unit ahead if you can. I'll actually move the artillery out here and rest of these guys forward oh, forward two there we go and the aircraft artillery is a powerful and versatile weapon not only is it capable to shield your vulnerable facilities against air attacks but it can also effectively combat ground targets large caliber anti-aircraft guns are also great for destroying tanks yes they are Okay, so I'm not going to attack with these guys. If I press the end button, I get to see the units that still get to move. Uh, I'm not going to do that with any of these. So let's give the... Uh, well, not, not give the turn back to the enemy. Uh, I have 615 prestige. And since there's no limit to the amount of units that I can have here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to the reserve and buy a new unit. And I want to buy a 15 millimeter artillery piece. Which will show up in... Uh, reserve and I actually get to deploy it near any of uh, my primary depots I'll place it up here I can't move it for this turn but I can't pick it up again if I accidentally place it in the wrong area so that's nice I'll just leave it here though because I want two artillery in the southern uh, attack group because I'm going to split up the southern attack group like I said one group is going towards El Alamo and one group is going towards Toledo it's in the turn Okay, well, they only have that guy there. He's in artillery range. But I actually want to... Uh, yeah, let's get the recon close here. The unit has been withdrawn from the supply depot support zone. The delivery of supplies to the unit has been stopped. This unit will not last long on its own supplies. Which brings me to another aspect of the game, which is... Supply. So your units get supply at the end of each turn uh, from supply depots. And if you want to see where you get supplies, just click on supply depot and you'll see where its supplies are running to. Uh, so basically this guy will be out of supply range from any supply depot, which means that at the end of this turn it doesn't replenish a portion of its ammunition and fuel. Um, if you want your units to regain those, you have to be within the supply range. Also, if you want to repair your units or reinforce them, you have to be within supply range. The depots, like any structure, can be damaged, uh, but still be repaired over time. So it could be that for some time the primary depot doesn't actually work. Um, properly it doesn't give you supplies or lessen supplies and then it will repair itself over time and uh, it will go back to full capacity as for air units they actually need to land at an airfield in order to draw their supplies from there they can do that mid turn so they can land get supplies fuel and ammo move out again in the same turn then go somewhere and bomb if they actually have the range but they do need to have the range for it so uh, that's very, uh, very nifty, that, but, well, because they have to move so much, usually that's not really going to work. But uh, you could do that. Either way, with these guys in sight, let's use the artillery first. It's not really so much an unidentified target, but uh, let's use the bomber. to destroy that and then move in this direction now I can use the tanks to block off all movement from this bridge so we're close to Toledo like that also revealing a unit down there all right no problem now after this yeah you could move into the city 
And we do know that they have something there too. Fighter planes are needed for gaining air superiority, as well as for protecting ground forces and bomber aircraft. Keep your fighter planes close to the units that you want to protect. Enemy aircraft will return fire as soon as they are attacked. Air weaponry also allows fighters to attack ground targets, although with a low efficiency. Hmm. All right, so I decided to go and bomb down here. I do need to make sure that my units are protected, which they currently are. There you go, so I destroyed the AA guns. That's already pretty nice. Next turn I can destroy this infantry and then I might be able to cross the river. Hmm. I don't want to take the city. And then I'll, I'll just move up here. So, one, two, three, four. If I move my artillery out here, it can actually shell what's out there on the next turn and then keep moving. I kind of want to do the same thing for the artillery. Although I would not mind attacking down here with the artillery. Let's see though. So it's one, two, three, four. I can move it in here. That's fine. But I don't want to get too frisky, so I have to be a bit careful. I just move the command vehicle here and then these tanks out here. So I kind of have a protective shield for my artillery here at least. And and then I'll move the infantry out here so it can attack on the next turn. Anti-tank artillery is effective against armored vehicles. Your best tactic when using anti-tank artillery is to position it in the direction of a possible tank attack next to your other forces. Anti-tank guns provide support to neighboring units attacked by enemy tanks and armored vehicles. Exactly. Alright, so now that that's covered let's move up here let's move you a bit closer and I'll shell this unknown unit with the artillery and immediately gets destroyed that's great so move just uh, forward for a bit and there we are let's see which units we have left you guys and that's pretty much it I wanna leave these two units here uh, here I don't think it's much use getting the recon right next to this infantry in because the infantry will be at an advantage in the close terrain and I don't want to take any damage so let's just end a turn getting an enemy plane from there why are they attacking my fighter in order to land, the aircraft has to land in an airfield hmm he's uh <laughs> Attacks with the fighters, they're not going very well for me, but... Okay. And there's a tank coming this after my no infantry. Ammo. Move it within the zone of action of the supply depot where you can okay. supply it. I'm a bit surprised that my fighters to took so much damage base. from these three. Um, I do have some anti-aircraft here. Let's uh, use that to at least shoot down one of these. Hmm. Well, these... Uh, yeah, I have to say that these air paddles, they're not looking too great. Let's land. There we go. And technically I could let them take off again because they immediately have four ammunition and such again. Or uh, I guess they can because they have no removal points. Uh, but what I will do is attack this unit from this side. Why will I do that? Because then I can still bomb in this area and then move under the protection of the fighter. 
Okay, second fighter down. They still have a third, but we'll deal with that. Well, that was definitely not what I wanted to do. That was beautiful, and since there's no undo button, not as far as I'm aware of, I pretty much screwed that up. So that's that's gorgeous. Well, okay. Let's uh, just bomb there then. I have to say that uh, some things they're not going as I would have wanted. Uh, but uh, yeah, that that's that's one of the annoying things about this game actually is that you know because there's no way to undo certain things or at least I'm not aware of it. Let's take a look at the hotkeys. No, there's no undo button. So if you accidentally misclick, you're pretty much just uh, yeah, you're you're screwed basically. That that's just about it. All right, well this unit is gonna take some damage then. It's okay. Um, you know, let's just let's go and attack this guy by artillery, destroy the tank, and we. Could could actually attack here. I think it's better than attacking up here. Because that way we can destroy these. Move in there with the infantry. The arsenal of Toledo has been captured. As part, you have captured an enemy supply depot. And attack there to you make now surrender. use it to supply our troops. Really just bummed out by this. Alright, well, either way, now that we've uncovered that. Where is the unit that moved in here? Did we destroy it outright, the tank? Could be. Let's just move in here. We would have spotted it if it was still there. Definitely. Hmm. Well, let's attack the infantry. And destroy it. So because we got overrun, we get to attack again, but that's not something that I'm gonna do. Because there are no targets and they can't attack. This is close terrain, so I'm not able to attack these guys out there. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to move into the city. We do know that they have infantry in there, even though I can't see it right now. They detect another enemy, though. So the question is, is attacking still useful? Let's actually move you one hex too. And we can actually move these up ahead towards this location. Let's cut at least the woods off so they will have a bit more trouble moving from there. I don't think there's all that much use to the AT gun at this point. But I'll move it here. And then I will put at least one artillery over here, right next to the anti-aircraft gun, so it's protected. The other artillery will... I, mean, I need to, to get... Yeah, I can use bombers here. It's it's not, a, not an issue. Sure, I'll move these guys right next to the anti-aircraft gun. And I'm not going to attack because I can shell them on the next turn. I have 10 turns in order to finish this mission, so... Again, there's really no need to go crazy here. Let's shell these guys with the artillery. Destroying them. Allowing me to take the city and revealing two more units. I'll go in there with the recon into these woods. Didn't reveal anything, unfortunately. I... Let's see. If I want to attack here... Need to move at least one hex further, but still be protected by the infantry. Uh, I can move you guys ahead. So what's left? The recon. Oh no, this is the command unit. Hmm. Yeah, let's protect it. And then the turn. Let's see what the fighter is doing. Yeah, going for my bomber. Like I said, I'm just going to take damage there because I misclicked. 
Which is really sucky, but nothing you can do about it now. No use complaining about it all the time. Just go in there, land. Your aircraft is running out of fuel. You need to land on the airfield for refueling. No, really. All right, it's uh, it's repair or it's refueling though. Either way, let's use the anti-aircraft gun to finish this thing off. There we go. All right, let's make no more stupid mistakes like that. Let's first move in here. Hmm. And move back with you. They're also out of uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Let's move you back. These guys too. You can pretty much have an unlimited amount of units uh, out in the, uh, the airfield. All right, I, I guess I'll use uh, my own units here first. Uh, actually, it, it's going to be quite unnecessary. I'll just move in the artillery. There's really no reason for me to take additional damage. Uh, so while I captured this, the game was trying to tell me that the Republicans are on the run. And they want me to go and check out Will Amuel's down here. And uh, I will actually try to do so with some of these troops. Uh, but not, not just now. Because I need to destroy these guys first. All right, destroy this infantry will allow me to keep moving. Let's use the recon. Our troops took control of Las Ventas. We got an important stronghold for the continuation of our offensive. And I'll move into the woods. Yeah, I still will. Uh, because also... Yeah, let's move the infantry a little bit closer so I'll get to attack on the next turn. And I will actually move these tanks in there, coupled with the artillery and the command unit to give a bonus to my troops. I think we have a pretty good thing going there. And then down here, we're also uh, pretty much set. I think, I don't, yeah, with whatever they have here, I think uh, we're, we're going f fine. Okay. Up here though, we did see that they had an artillery there. Now if I move these guys one hex forward, I will actually be able to attack. There's still a unit in the way though, but what I'll do is I'll move in here. Just wait for bets. Move you forward. Attack the artillery. And destroy it. Apparently already. Either way, this is still a 2-2 two and two result. Which is not that great for me, so I'll just go and wait. Uh, while I protect my artillery though, I'll shell it with artillery first on the next turn and then afterwards destroy it. So uh, I'm moving fairly slowly, but I'm doing that in order to protect my units. I've already suffered enough damage as it is actually uh, taking a big hit here. Just this so panel displays information about the enemy. As you get closer to the enemy, your troops receive an increasing amount of data. First, they will pinpoint the location of an unidentified unit. Then they will identify its type. And finally, they will obtain detailed information about it. The more you know about the enemy, the easier it is for you to attack it. Intelligence can be obtained faster during close combat with the enemy. Or by joint observation of enemy positions by several units. Yeah, we already got that one. Um, either way, as I was saying, we already took enough damage in the air. Uh, so I want to prevent any more damage. Because we have to repair every single unit or every single strength point that we lose. So it's very important not to lose too much. Of course, with some things, it's just impossible to do anything about it, like with these planes. Now I knew the enemy had planes, but uh, well, I guess they just stormed in recklessly. And they did fairly well, ganging up three against one, so. Brunette is seized. We have captured the main transport junction. All right, took these two places and put up a defensive barrier out here. Not bad. Meanwhile, down here, I have not a whole lot of information on the enemy. Let's just shell this unit first and 
Then move into recon for one hex. What is it? An anti-tank gun. Should be able to finish that off with the infantry fairly well. But maybe I still get to use the bomber, so I'll have to see whether the, the range is good. Certainly hope so. Does seem like it. Excellent. Do want to have fighter protection as well. And just attacking the infantry so that uh, they will already suffer a few points of damage. Actually. Okay, so the last bomber out there. Let's attack. Infantry again. And I'll move around and then make these guys surrender. Okay, so revealed an infantry there. I knew that they had a unit there and these guys are three strength. Uh, which probably means that I cannot destroy it again on, on this turn here. But I'll put the tanks right next to it. Yeah, that's just no good. I will definitely wait. Put my HQ unit in there so that I can just shell these guys with artillery on the next turn. I'm trying to save some damage here. Good. Let's shell these with artillery. Whatever it is. Well, it's demoralized and fleeing now, so I'll move in here. Attack it. The garrison is unblocked. General Franco's gratitude knows no boundaries. 200 prestige has been ordered. Well, that's uh, mightily nice of you. I would like to see what that unit is, though. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to see. I will uh, wait for a bit because of that. Let's just uh, move the artillery close enough to shell them on the next turn, and I'll use the forces from Toledo in order to move towards uh, Fieldjemueas, or however you pronounce it. Uh, so these guys can go there, take the city. Move the anti-aircraft. There we go. So these guys are all set. Do have these fighters, but I'm a bit hesitant to engage. Let's just move here. These guys are badly hurt. This is another bombers. Uh, well, I could have already destroyed these guys if I would have played it tactically. Hmm. Just some flak. The artillery. Yeah, I'll try to get it closer. Or as close as possible. There's no threat coming from here anymore, so I might just as well move up. And this is also a regular infantry. Alright, and a turn. Enemy didn't do anything, which means that we get to move a little bit closer. Let's get these guys out here into the forest. They detect an enemy, but... Okay, there we are. So they do have a, a huge concentration of troops out there in the city. Uh, but there's, of course... Well, we're moving through the woods here with a, a reason it's to not be detected. Something like this three strength infantry is again hidden but I do have my artillery to obviously destroy it now this is the here we are the recon take that and I want to move in here okay so they have a unit down there that's that's not really an issue we can just stay here and move the tanks across at least for now and the artillery can move on to this hex so it can shell from the bridge if necessary meanwhile i'll be moving upon the unit which is out here we already knew that they did have a unit let's go they have two units well let's shell it and I'll try to, to 
just uncover a bit more info by uh, by moving in here. But if it's an anti tank gun, I can't can't get too close yet. Let's go and bomb it. Ah, oh, it was an infantry. Hmm. Well, we know this isn't an anti-tank or uh, an anti-aircraft unit, so might as well just uh, go all out here. And they don't seem to be rocking any more planes either, so yeah, this seems to be about fine. Infantry will stay there. Anti-aircraft guns trying to protect the whole area. These guys are fine. We're good to go down here. What can we do? Move the artillery up. Yeah, that's a good idea. And that's it. Nothing again from the enemy. All right, let's move in here. Here's where we lost track of the Republican column. We could not figure out which direction they took from Villa Muelas. Our soldiers, however, found an abandoned truck full of British Wickers machine guns. The Republicans were in such a hurry that they did not have time to transfer them over to the other trucks. There's weapons and are ours to use. Well, that's very nice of them. I'll make good use out of these trucks. Or out of these Vickers machine guns. Either way, let's shell this unidentified target once more. Uh, which is fleeing and is demoralized right now. So we'll just take this here depot, make them surrender. Getting again a bunch of prestige. Nice. Take the airfield. And now I'm going to focus on this unit here, which probably is not an anti aircraft unit. So once again, I'll be letting loose the airplanes. Triple bombers will make sure that this thing is blasted into oblivion. It's a three strength infantry right now. So we can take care of it. If I move out here, yeah. Make it surrender, giving me a lot of intelligence and again a lot of prestige points. So what do we have here? An infantry, an anti tank gun, an anti aircraft gun, two artillery pieces, and hidden units well for now I'll just uh, I can move in here and shell this first artillery and this artillery actually has a range of three so it can't counterattack at least not without moving so I'm pretty happy and what I'll do is I'll actually block the road out here and out here. So the likelihood that they get to attack this uh, this artillery is very small. As for the airplanes, how much fuel do they have? 18, huh? Yeah, let's just land. And wait till the next turn. It's not the very best. Yeah. Right, so if I wanted to take the city, actually... Okay, they won't... One, two, three, okay, they won't be under target of the enemy. Let's see, one... Yeah, I can move into these woods here and then already start shelling the enemy. And I, I'm pretty much just going to just try to destroy the enemy forces in Madrid by using my artillery and just blast my way through the town. Because uh, that seems to be a, a very good solution here. And if I move here, I'll be fine. Let's see. Oh, that uh, was the plane, not the tank. That's my my second mistake here. Hope I won't get punished for it. Hmm. <laughs> I 
How is it protect troops within their operational range? In the event of an enemy attack on our troops, they will respond with artillery fire to support them. Alright, so I only got punished on the bomber, but that was going to happen regardless of whether we had the fighters there or not. Alright, it happens. Uh, let's actually move all of our aircraft back into the airfield. And the reasons for that is that I can't really use them with the air, uh, the anti-aircraft around there. Let's move you back in there. There we go. And that means that they are uh, they are safe. I'll block the road. And I don't really have that much information anymore about what's going on. Let's take the city though. I'll move forward and shell the anti-aircraft uh, gun. Why not? It's demoralized and fleeing. Hmm. If only I could make it surrender, but I can't cross the river at this point. Not through this way, apparently. Which is a bit strange. But I guess I can't. Either way, these guys are in a bit of a pickle. I'm surprised I wasn't able to make them surrender. However, they do have another artillery out here. Uh, let's just shell these guys here first. Because uh, it's a bit dangerous. They sh these guys should be back in, uh, in supply soon. Uh, you can move down here. And you in here. Do need to be careful and make sure that the enemy can't actually go and attack my artillery. Because that would be a bit of a problem. Getting the HQ to buff these two is also pretty neat, I think. Still have five more turns remaining. And that's it, though. Nothing actually happened. Seems like these guys didn't get any more ammo. So let's get them back. Don't really know why. Right. I'll just move in there and attack that artillery piece because I know it is. Okay. Well, with that done, let's get the recon in here. Make these guys surrender. Giving me again intelligence on what the enemy has. Just an anti-tank gun and an infantry. So these guys can be shelled. Taking five damage, not too bad. I'll move them back. Because these guys are so damaged, I'm actually gonna cross with the infantry. Get them in place for a charge on the next turn, even though it will likely be unnecessary. That's going to be it. And again, they didn't do much. Sure, let's take the airfield. Our aircraft may now use this airfield. Get in the infantry. We know it's an anti-tank unit. Just move forward. Keep shelling. Hmm. The big question is though, will these guys take damage from that infantry? And the answer is probably no, but they might. Well, no matter, let's just attack here. Yeah, they did take it. They didn't even destroy that unit either. Ish. That's sad. Let's just end the turn here once again and finish them off. Troops have captured the main supply depot of the Republican army. The Republicans have now no place to replenish their supplies. 
and completed the mission. So we actually have to spend 131 for repairing our troops, mostly the aviation. But you know, it uh, it it has to be done every every game here. We get 869 prestige for finishing the mission like this. Of course, we get a golden victory, which means we get a thousand HQ experience, 200 for the battle. So we have 200 HQ experience now in total. I'll go over HQ experience and stuff just in a little bit. We also got the Condor Legion badge, which gives plus two initiative to the HQ unit. Well, that's pretty nice. No losses and quite a couple of kills for this mission. Let's just uh, see what the Fuhrer has to say about our glorious golden victory here in Spain. I'm, uh, I'm sure he'll be relieved here. So, mine Herren, the actions of the Condor Legion in Spain convince me that my determination to follow the chosen course and strengthen the German power in every way possible was correct. Therefore, I decided to change the Chief of the General Staff. From now on, Lieutenant General Franz Halder will take the lead. He knows everything about the strategic situation and our plans for the future. You are always welcome to ask him for any advice. Franz, I want to introduce you to the people that will revive the former glory of the great Germany with you. The Tank King, Heinz Guderen, the brilliant Erich von Meinstein, and the fearless Erwin Rammel. Together with such officers as yourselves, I will build my 1,000-year Reich under my leadership Germany will be able to dictate its will to the whole world. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm needed for the state affairs. To you, mein Herren, I recommend that you actively engage in the assembly and training of the troops entrusted to you. We will need them soon. Together with Heinz Guderen, indeed. Well, <laughs> that's great. Either way, between each mission, we and go to the uh, mission screen here. We can take a look at a bunch of different things here. First of all, the map, which is strangely, if you, th this map is always the same, but then if you click on that, they actually do show you which territory you've taken and which you haven't. So that's a bit odd. Yeah, next mission will be Poland. Regardless, as I said, we now have 200 HQ experience and I said before that with that experience we actually get to buy abilities. And they are a bit cheaper for Eric von Manstein because he has that analyst ability. So we have a few of these and First off, we have Blitzkrieg here. If we activate this, motorized units receive two more initiative and plus one movement uh, for a turn, which is nice. We get frontline artillery, which means that after being activated, artillery is able to shoot again. Uh, so your artillery gets to attack twice. This allows you to summon aviation recon. Then we have airstrike, allows summoning strategic aviation on the battlefield. And we have tank onslaught, uh, which allows you to attack one target with three or more tank units simultaneously uh, instead of each one separately, dealing more damage and receiving less damage in return. For now, uh, I guess, I mean, frontline artillery is nice and all. Yeah, let's do that. So as you can see here in this video, they get to attack and then they get to attack again. You attack, use the ability, and they attack again. Let's uh, 
Let's learn that. Of course, I can't learn uh, that a second time. Uh, but I now have studied level one. And if I level this up, then the cost will be reduced by two points. It, so I will have to. Uh, it will cost two less command points to use that ability if I research this again. But uh, I'm not really interested in that. Yeah. So now that I've bought that, I want to go and. Uh, yeah, you actually go to the same screen here. I want to go and look at my prestige points. So. And while I'm in this intermediate screen, I actually get to upgrade my units, buy new units, etc. For example, the first unit that I have here is the HQ unit, uh, which actually, uh, you know, you can level up here if they actually uh, do have that ability to, or at least if they have gotten enough experience. Uh, you can give equipment to your units. We currently have two free Fickers uh, extra equipment, uh, which, you know, can be put onto a unit in order to give it plus one heart attack, one soft attack, and plus one air defense. But we only have two of those remaining, and we can upgrade a unit. Now, this PSW-223 in this mission can be upgraded to this unit, the 232, which gives us plus more defense here and a bit more heart attack but it would cost me 105 which i think is a lot for what you get from it not particularly useful i mean it does also get a lot more initiative but you don't really want to be attacking with this unit that much anyway now the panzer 1a i can upgrade into a couple different units you have the panzer 38t which does give it some bonuses here this is less expensive but also provides less ground defense, so the Panzer 3E will take a bit more damage. And then the uh, Panzer 4 is less good against uh, hard targets, but better on soft targets. Although overall they are a bit better, but take they have less air defense. Either way, I want to upgrade one of the Panzers to a Panzer 4 at least, and the other Panzer to Panzer 3. So they'll be performing a little bit better. Now I can't actually level them up again because they aren't leveled up. This recon, I can turn this into the uh, 231 model, but again, that's not very good. It loses its ability to strike against air units. It gets one more ground defense, but it costs me 100 prestige. It's just not viable. I'm not gonna do that. Now, upgrading this into a, an 88mm anti-aircraft gun is interesting, but again, I think it's not viable here. Upgrading this artillery to a 15mm one I think is quite viable because it does, just deals that much more damage, although again it costs 200, which is a lot. Um, that's something to keep in mind. So I definitely want to upgrade this fighter, the BF-109B, to the Messerschmitt 109E. It only costs 30 and gives it plus 2 air attack. And I like that a lot. So let's upgrade it. And I can upgrade the bomber for 55. I think that's also worth it because it's pretty cheap to do so here. As for these infantry, I can upgrade them to pioneers. What does that give it? More soft attack and more defense. 150, again, it's a lot. I'm not saying that I don't want to do this, but I think actually rather I'd invest more. In, uh, currently, I want to invest into buying more units uh, because I think I get more worth for my money. So, I, for example, I definitely want to get a second fighter, which is 455. Yeah, that's a, or 555. 45. Wow. All right. I think that's very useful. 
and even for the next mission it'll be good to have I think. Just in addition to our air units here, I definitely want to get these guys going. And then I also want to buy a third artillery I think. Ah, this is not artillery, here we are. Now, the interesting part is that upgrading these, uh, if we're going to upgrading, it costs 200 to upgrade. But then purchasing it, you know, they are only 70 more expensive, which is pretty interesting indeed. I guess, I'll be purchasing that. And I'm also going to be buying another infantry, I think. So we have three of those because they'll be useful. Apparently, yeah, pioneers are twice as expensive as regulars, but they have the ability to ignore entrenchments and never retreats, doesn't give up, disregards counterattacks. Uh, they're also still marines, so they, they are a lot better than regular units. Uh, they also don't have less movement or anything. They're just they're just better. That's that's just it. They're just better. Uh, so let's purchase those two. We have 204 left. Uh, not really into upgrading these guys just about yet. Maybe I'll just save it. So. No. I do have two of these for free. Heart attack, soft attack, air defense. Yeah, I'll put these machine guns on my infantry. I, I think they'll be put to good use that way. These guys need to get ground transports as well. I also need to purchase it. You don't have to do that for the artillery. Take it for free. Well, let's save those prestige points for later. Um, either way, that means that Poland will be up next. I want to thank you all for watching for now. Do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment or subscribe. And we'll be continuing this walkthrough in the next one. Um, so take care and see you all there.